On your Instagram, it says you you've been vegan for four years. Yes, you know? sir. Um, congrats, because I know a lot of people who started and stopped. <laughs> so, what does Scott Bernhard eat to stay healthy? Oh man, what do I, what do I eat to stay healthy? Um. I'm going to run down my regimen. Got you. In yeah. the morning time. There we go. Just one day. Let Give me an example. Yeah, in the morning time, I tend to fast. I'm a faster. So many people who work out. Like, so many people say that. Yeah. What, what, what is it about fasting that, like, how do you work out? How do you, mm -hmm. how do you function throughout the day? I mean, you have yeah. a life outside of working out. Like, how do you, how do you fast but still, right? you know, are efficient when you're working out. But, um, the most important thing, man, fasting is like pretty much a, reju a rejuvenation of the body mm -hmm. because we pack on so much waste and gunk in our colon. That's true. And we don't know it. You wake up in the morning, the first thing you want to do is bacon, egg, and cheese, <laughs> which I used to eat a lot as a teenager. Ketchup and hot sauce. Oh, man. man. <laughs> yes, man. Whew. Yeah. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? But like, as you're sleeping, when you're sleeping in the circadian rhythm, when you're sleeping, you're, 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 burning, you're burning fat, you're burning calories as you sleep, mm -hmm. um, per se. And as you're sleeping, you're also in a fasted state. Mm -hmm. So when you wake up in the morning, your body is kind of jolted. And because your body is jolted, from there, it wants to find something to latch on, mm -hmm. so it can gain the minerals and the, nutri the, the nutrients from it. Gotcha. So once you wake up in the morning and you want to feed your body processed food, you want to feed your body junk food, you want to feed your body food that is just completely not beneficial for your system, then guess what? The body it attaches itself to the, all that toxic, all that gunk, it gets in the colon, and then from there, people get backed up, people get sick, people get mm -hmm. headaches, people get bloated, not knowing is what you consume in the morning time. Now listen, I'm not against eating in the morning, but just know, eat food that are nutritionally dense. For me, personally, um, my fast consists of water and fruits. Yeah. If not water and fruits, then I'm, I'm a big advocate for sea moss. Gotcha. I'm a big advocate for drinking some kind of herbal tea because as soon as I wake up, my body is like, I need something, you yeah, know? What are we doing? So what are we doing? <laughs> so from there, I want to I wanna alert my body, like, listen, today, I'm going to make sure that the dig your, your digestive system is working. I'm going to make sure your, your, the bowel movements is working, everything like that. I'm going to make sure that the colon is not overly backed up. So I'm drinking water. I'm eating fruits. I'm taking sea moss. I'm taking these... Um, anti-inflammatory herbs mm -hmm. and, and anti-inflammatory um, anti foods. Yeah. So that's what I will do in the morning. Gosh. If um, if I want to eat in the morning, then I will probably do like a little avocado toast, or I do some spelt um, spelt pancakes, which is <laughs> yo, this man, them spelt pancakes, them spelt pancakes is fire. Um, I'll do some millet. I'll do some oatmeal. Light things. I do not. Gotcha. I do not try to overly eat in the morning. Mm -hmm. Not at all. Gotcha. And then throughout the day. Huh? Then throughout the day, um, I'll probably break my fast around 1 p.m. 2 p.m. Okay. So 1 p.m. 2 p.m. I'll probably have like uh like a like a portobello mushroom sandwich or something like that. Depends, mm -hmm. you know, what's in the house or whatever. Or if I feel to it, I'll probably just continue to eat fruits. Mm -hmm. And drink my water, and then around four, five, six, probably like around dinner time. I'm an adult, so like everything is not, you know, yeah, structured. You but you. as much as I try to structure it, um, I would say like literally probably dinner will be like my most heaviest meal, gotcha. where I'm having like chickpeas, um, which is one of the staples for me. Yeah. <laughs> chickpeas, um wild rice, I'll have um, sweet potato, I'll have the, the greens like kale, um, let me see, um, 
oyster mushrooms is one of my favorite things as well too because with oyster mushrooms you can like season it it can have like a really gotcha. great taste to it as well um yeah, things like that. So, things like that. You know, lentils. I'm just mm-hmm. going on top of that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. And to close out in the nighttime, like a supper or something. Mm, supper, 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 supper. Um, I really like um walnuts. Walnuts. Or I'll probably do like a, uh, like a peanut butter sandwich. No, I'm I'm not a, I'm not I don't really like peanut butter like that. <laughs> I'll probably do like a walnut butter sandwich or yeah with some hemp seeds Mm -hmm. um yeah hemp seeds is one of my favorite things as well too so yeah I'll probably do something like that that's what's up yeah or eat some fruits it really depends yeah yeah but big on the fruits yeah I'm I'm big on the fruits I'm I'm definitely big on the fruits and one thing people gotta realize too is like consume fruits by itself don't try to mix your fruit with any kind of like meat, so don't try to mix your fruit with any kind of vegetable as well. It's a little bit subjective, but for me personally, I try not to mix my fruits with vegetables. I just eat my fruits by itself. I eat my vegetables by itself. Why is is that a? Does it go against um the body? Does it help it more? Um, it's very subjective, but. Okay. There are studies out there that it, it does have, it plays a, a role in the digestive system. Mm. So okay, yeah. And, and for the people that don't know, I know what I know what you're talking about, but explain it to them like what it does when you have fruits with other things as well, like chicken. Oh man, you, you start to get headaches. You start oh my my stomach hurting. You yeah. start to get you know little headaches there and there. You just start to feel really out of place. Yeah, it doesn't digest you know? right on it. Exactly, it doesn't digest right. Gotcha. So, and when it doesn't digest right, that means that the colon is not fully um, clean out. Okay. You know? Gotcha. So, I mean, nobody's colon is going to be fully cleaned out. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But it, 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 it's not going to reduce a great amount of waste within the colon unless okay. you, you know, take a, a real cleanse or you take a colonic or something like that. Okay. You have to understand, yeah, like, true. most diseases and, and most sicknesses and ailments start within the colon. Yeah. So crazy. Yep. Got you. Got you.